your vest or joiner, just cut that. Just cut it, just, just, you know what to do. That's all I'll say, you know what to do. Hello, 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 hello. Your vets are joining here. Your vets are joining here. Welcome. Listen, if you haven't already, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. How else is all this goodness going to be spread across the YouTubers and the interweb? This is the place in the space where luxury meets authenticity. Oh my goodness! Today is such an exciting day. First off, as you can see, I got my hair done. I got my trim and so on and so forth. No layers. I'm trying to get this stuff to grow out so my fro can look fabulous. But today, I have a couple of things to unbox. Listen, you know I do not even get into my goodies until I show them to you. Until we unbox them together, they are set aside. So you know it has not been long and this is happening right now. I am also going to say I have more items that will be unboxed in the next video as well from Hermes, but we're going to have to wait on those and I will explain as to why that is later. For now, for now, you already know, you know what's coming story time. I know, I know, but you know I love talking to you. And I say this every video because it is so true. So let me tell you a little bit about how this all came about. The last time I visited my local Hermes here in the US was prior to us departing for France. It was a couple days leading up to our trip. Our essay reached out a couple times asking about different items. She offered me a couple bags and as you are well aware, if you follow me, I had kindly declined because they did not fit what I was looking for and wanting. So like a day or two before our flight, awesome. A day or two before our flight, I got the call. And this time, it was something that was definitely a yes. And that was my Kelly 28 and Cellier black box leather with palladium hardware. What's up? As soon as I got that call, I was on a road heading to my local Aravaz. I was not playing around. And let me tell you, it was exhausting because I knew I was preparing to fly out. I was not gonna let this opportunity pass me by. So that was the last time I visited my local Aravaz. This visit was something special. I will dive into that later. But for now, I'm just gonna continue with this part of the story. So yeah, it was a while before I had visited and I was really excited to get back just to catch up with my essay and hear what was going on with her as well as share with her about our trip because she is always interested in the things we do as we're traversing the world. So that was fun. It was definitely fun to catch up. It was really, really fun getting in there and chatting with all the other essays and staff that was there. It's always amazing. The managers are amazing. My local Hermes is just filled with the most beautiful bunch of individuals. So it was a real nice homecoming for me when I got there. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of, I, I have to be careful as to what I say because you know, I will tell you everything immediately and then that ruins the entire experience. So let me censor myself right now. Let me gather myself because I'm so excited, I'm so excited. Okay, so we drove down, Hubs and I both drove down and while we were there, when we got to the boutique, see, we drove down the day before. Hubs is really big, as well as myself now, on arriving the day before, relaxing, then going in and visiting and potentially staying a couple days after. And the last time now, when we were going to France, that trip was very special because I drove down by myself, turned around and came right back because the flight was like the next day. So that was an exception. But on this trip, yes, we went down ahead of time 
and we relaxed, had some fun, and the next morning, we were the first appointments, and we went ahead and drove down. I will tell you, before we even drove down, Hubs was acting a little weird, so I knew something was going on, because he was like, oh, we have to go, you know, down to, and I was like, really, why? And he would tell me, so I was just like, okay, well, if we're going there, please, 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 let's make sure we stop by Hermes so I can actually catch up with my essay. And he understood. Now, when I showed up to Hermes, listen to me, I was looking good. <laughs> I was looking good. I had the scarf flowing. I had my Constance 24 on my side. I wore the scarf that matched and it was a 140, the size 140. So it was like truly just flowing off of me. I wore my Hermes a shirt dress in white. So it was really crisp and nice. I had on my white Hermes sneakers as well. Just so happened I put on all Hermes. It was not something that was truly planned. I just wanted to make sure whatever I wore complimented my Constance. And let me tell you, people in the store actually stopped and were like, you should be given all the gifts for how you are representing them right now. And I took it in I was just like, thank you for that. Thank you for acknowledging it. Thank you for noticing. I really do appreciate the love. And it was funny because those individuals also went to the essays and the store managers and were like, you need to give her something <laughs> because she is really representing you all so very well. And I do appreciate that because, you know, we put on things and we show up, but a number of times it's like, is it impactful? It's always impactful when I show up and someone else is actually saying something, not when I show up and I'm just feeling myself like, yes, I'm representing, I'm up in this space, but more so when someone else sees that I am ever present and I am representing is really nice. It's, it's really nice to be acknowledged for that. So that was very, very special moment. I was so flattered. I was so flattered and the essays and the store manager came over and of course they chatted with me and they were like, we wish we could give you a gift, but we are not able to. Listen, I don't know how much truth there is to that, but I just was like, I understand, I get it. I mean, I'm not there to receive gifts. I was there to corral, see what was going on, and chat up my essay. That's really what I was there for. When I shared a my new Constance with my essay, she was amazed. She was floored by this bag because she was just like, I did not know that you like colors like this. I have to say, normally, I would not accept just any color. Before I went to France, I was offered a red Constance with this brassy tone hardware. I did not accept that because of the hardware. Then I was also offered a yellow bag with palladium hardware. I did not accept that bag and it was because it was yellow. So I understood her confusion when it came to this particular bag and when I showed it to her, but I explained to her this pink was very different than the yellow for one. And because of the fact that it was something that I was already admiring and wanting to add to my collection as far as the color. I had forgotten, but Hubs was so great at reminding me that and I shared that with her and it was like, okay, it makes sense, it makes sense. And I did wear my Hermes jewelry that I had purchased in the past that was the same color as the bag. So it was really, really interesting. I actually put it on my right arm seeing, you know, I have my stack and everything else on my left. It was nice being able to wear those pieces that were tucked away for a while and it just all came together and made sense and I love when that happens. I love it. When I get something that complements something that I already own, it is my favorite thing in the world. I'm just gonna say it. My essay knows that I am a true lover of neutrals. I understand, I understand, I completely get why she was kind of set aback by the fact that I accepted this bag. I also had to explain to her that of course she 
does get me to step outside of my comfort zone, but my essay in France is just like, listen, you have nothing to lose if you just try it out. Just try it out and see, even though the reality is, yes, you lose time, <laughs> but you also could potentially lose financially because let me just say, trying something on and falling in love with it Oh yes, it, it can happen. She comes at me with that approach all the time. I'm always prepared to try things on and I'm just like, no. I always make the decision before I even try it on because she always has some things lined up. I mean, she does not play around. Admittedly, I tried on a number of things while I was there. I was happy at the fact that my essay had just a pile of things waiting for me. <laughs> happy I was so happy about that so yes I tried on a number of things I don't know if I will share that here or if I will wait because of the second unboxing I don't know but just know if you don't see it in this video you will see it in the future video of the second unboxing for sure so let's get in to this unboxing shall we let me show you let me show you <laughs> this unboxing is pretty spectacular that's all i have to say there's three items and one of them is a bag so i'm just going to put that out there for you you take it as you will but just know one of these boxes is a bag it is time to unbox <gasps> transparency moment oh my goodness i just unboxed like almost everything and realized the camera wasn't even on what is wrong with me i don't out but but we're gonna pretend that didn't happen and i'm going to re-unbox everything for you i know i didn't have to tell you but i am telling you because i feel some kind of way about this I feel some kind of way. I keep looking up like, is that camera recording? Yes, it's recording, it's recording now. So I'm gonna start over and say all of that again. Oh my goodness. But anyway, anyway, anyway. Oh my goodness, I can't believe this. Okay, okay, okay. And let's go. The first item. I am going to unbox is this. I have to say, it may surprise you, but it may not, it, it may not, it may not, it may not. That's what I, I just keep telling myself that because, you know, I think you know me well enough. Dag on it. <laughs> know why it, I am so trying to unbox this thing and this is how I ended up turning the camera off the first time because I unboxed this the last time accidentally oh my goodness it's just one of those days I am not turning this camera off I'm not I don't care I am leaving it on <laughs> I refuse to do that again so bear with me. I'm I am definitely sealing this back up. The best joiner, just cut that. Just cut it. Just just you know what to do. That's all I'll say. You know what to do. The first item. The first item is this. It may surprise you. It may not surprise you. I don't know. I don't know. But I will say it is lovely. And here we are. Look at that. Look at that. This beautiful. I'm just going to show you each piece. I got a set. Just look at how beautiful that is. Normally, I drink out of the coffee and tea mugs that have the double wall and they're clear. I went with Bodum, I believe it is. And I love those, but I wanted to elevate my moments, make it a little special when I have a cup of tea. So you know, 
this is a tea set. And I am going to tell you right now, do not be surprised if you see more of these in the near future. Not saying the items that are going to be delivered, but in the near future. I love this. Hubs was surprised because as you can see, it has gold trim and he was like, are you sure about this? It's not silver. I have been eyeing these since they came out. And the only other option that was available was the one with all gold on the inside. And I did not want to go that far, but I feel a touch of gold is so classy. I wanted to feel special and up my tea game. These are porcelain and they are screen printed, so all the details are on there. The other thing is the 24 karat gold is applied by hand. Isn't that just lovely? Oh my goodness. They're just such a lovely set. And I did get two. I did get two. It was funny because in the store I was selling hubs. Don't you drink out of my mug. <laughs> Our essay just kind of sat there looking at us like, and I was just so serious, like, don't, don't drink out of my mugs. Don't drink out of my mugs. Yes, he can drink out of my mugs, but I know he won't because he knows we're clumsy. So I, it's risky for me to even have those. I'm just gonna keep them in a designated area. That's how that's gonna work. <laughs> no walking around the house in my silk robe as I sip on my tea and coffee with the no. Is I'm gonna sit at a table and drink at the table. That's how that's gonna work. Listen, they're not Yvette's adjoiner proof. They're not, so I gotta be careful. <laughs> I will tell you, as I just said, I will definitely be adding either the breakfast cups or the coffee cups. One of the two, if not both. Yes, I love this, I love this set and I want to get as many pieces as I can from it before it leaves. I don't know how it works with these types of items. I wanna make sure that I get those. I can't wait to use them, I just can't. Yes, that happened. Let's move on. I had so much to say about these. I don't even know if I'm gonna remember everything I said, but I'm going to try to this is two items. You will understand when you see it because I did talk about this several times in the past. So here is the first piece. If you see this, you already know what it is. Look at that. Look at that. Wait a minute. Is this plastic? Oh my goodness. I, I made a mistake. <laughs> I got this believing that it was brushed. Okay. <laughs> There's a lot of the transparency moments right at the moment. I got this thinking that it was actually brushed. It is not. It looks the same. Let me get the other one. It looks very similar to what I already have. It does, doesn't it? Like, look at that. But there is a slight difference. So I can say, I, oh my goodness, I was gonna have to tell this to Hubs and he would understand, but it would bother me if I got the exact same thing twice. I wanted to get this in the brush because then it would be different. This is still different enough for me. So I'm okay with that. I'm okay with having two of these and if you notice the one that's on the strap already is thinner the H is thinner than this one this is lovely it's very lovely it's it just yeah I am okay with this for a second I was a little concerned but this is going to work for me it's going to work I will have I, I listen I'm going to have to admit that if I did get the brush silver it would definitely take some getting used to for me so I don't even know why I even 
thought that would work. I don't know, but you know what? Everything happens for a reason. My essay knows me so well. This is an example of how well she knows me. And this is also applicable to my essay in France. They know me so well. I love this about them. So the second thing, I'm letting it get away from me. So here is the second item. I said there was two and here's the second one. Once you saw the constant mini buckle, you knew I was going to get the strap. And if you are new here, I will explain this to you. But even if you are one of my regulars, you know, I talked about this in my Laura Piana video when I was trying on the slacks. Having the strap in a size 75 is great for if I'm wearing it higher on my waist with dresses and things of that nature. But if it's something with more material, so if I'm wearing a pair of slacks or jeans, I need a longer strap. So I went with a 90 because that is what I ended up getting in France in Etope and it was perfect. So I was lucky this was available at the boutique. Yes, I was very happy about that. Now I have two of them, it's perfect. I will say, and I've said this before, but I will say it again. If you are wanting a belt and you're looking for something of a smaller size, so for instance, this is a size 24. If you're looking for something smaller, I would say go with the Kelly belt. Even if you're not looking for something smaller, I still highly recommend a Kelly belt because it is adjustable and it fits with whatever I put on and I love that. I just love the Kelly belt. I am a fan of the Kelly belt. I still like having the mini constants in 24, this one, because it's just a different width. So it goes with so many other things as well, but the Kelly belt works regardless of what I put on. This belt I love, but I have to have two of the straps. So it is easier to wear. The Kelly belt is just versatile because it's adjustable. There you have it. That is what I am saying, that right there. Other option you have if you want to get a Constant Mini belt in 24 is you could actually get this in a longer strap and request that they put another hole into the strap. That might work. I have not done that. I just ended up getting two. So that has worked for me. Having two is perfect. It also gives me more freedom and versatility when it comes to swapping out the buckles. That was not difficult at all. I thought when I saw that that red record was not going, I was like, oh my goodness, I'm going to have to make up all the things I forgot everything, but I have not. I said everything I was going to say. So, yay, I did it. Now, I swear to you, it's so exciting because it is, this is so exciting. It's so exciting because I continue to try to open this one box over and over again. And it must be, it must be the universe just saying it's time because this was the first item, the second item. Every time I grabbed a box, it was this box. I ended up taking the string off and realizing it's not the right box. So let's get into this. Do you know what it is? Can you tell? Do you know? I don't know. I don't know. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay, this can wait. Put that aside. Oh my goodness, you guys. You guys. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look at that. Yes, this happened. Let me take this off because it, you know if I don't. <laughs> I just, this is the first thing I do. It's the first thing I do. You've seen me do it time and time again. It just makes my life so much easier when I go ahead and remove these pieces because 
it's just easy to forget them and I refuse to allow rust to build up on my bag. I just, no thank you. I picked up a mini concert. <laughs> I picked up. I already did a story time. I already did a story time, but this deserves a special segment. So I am going to share with you how this came about and why I said yes. Listen, listen, as soon as soon as I unboxed this, I looked and I said hugs. How am I gonna explain this to all of you? How am I gonna explain this? I just said, I would have got that bag, but when I went to try to put my phone in it, it did not fit. And you know my rule is my phone has to be able to fit. I'm not sure when it comes to the mini constants, if that's the size for me or not. I cannot do mini bags. First off, I am not the type of person who wants to be carrying and having a ton of things in my hand, on my body, and so on and so forth. So there is no way that I'm gonna get a bag my phone cannot fit into, period. Period. I am not one of those people who will get a bag that only my lip oil will fit in. No, no, it's just not who I am. It's just not who I am. So mini bags are a no for me, except if my phone fits in. If my phone fits in a bag and I can fit all my other little things that I need in there, then you know, I will consider it. But if my phone doesn't fit in, it's a no. It's just, no. I'm not carrying my phone in my hand or in my pocket. It's just not who I am. And here I am with the mini Constance and it is beautiful it is beautiful i just was offered a mini constance in france in ostrich leather but i am going to explain to you everything as far as what has happened first off there are always exceptions there are always exceptions to the rules right let's be honest i cannot always say no to everything i mean i could but i always allow myself exceptions that is something i do i also touched on this in how i shop with intention that video yes i mentioned that and this is an exception but it's not so i'm gonna explain it to you but first i need to give hubs his credit i create lists and I stick to them. You all know this about me. If you don't know this about me, go watch my other videos. But for now, finish watching this one. I accepted this first off because it was a gift. This was a gift from Hubs. This was a gift from Hubs. It was a surprise for my birthday. And I have to say, he did such a good job. He did such a good job with this. And I am just so, happy about this bag i'm so happy i know the one in france was offered to me in black ostrich and it had palladium hardware it was beautiful and i turned that bag down if you recall i'm going to go into those details soon but for now let's just admire this and appreciate the fact that hubs went out of his way to surprise me he and my essay got this for me and i am so happy i mean they work together they're very strategic it was a complete surprise so don't come after me don't come after me it was a gift i accepted it but i have to admit this bag is actually different it is different there is a surprise, a twist, a plot twist. I think that's what I've been saying lately, but there, there's definitely a plot twist to this bag. As I mentioned, I was offered one in France, in Paris, and I did not know, first off, that there were different models of the Constance. I know, I'm aware of the different sizes. I know that much, but I did not know that there was a difference. I cannot recall completely what the inside of the one in Paris looked like. I can say that I do, did not remember a mirror at all. This one has the mirror. I will remove the film later. For now, I will leave it there. And this one, this one, look, look, wait. This is why I said, you can't come after me. You cannot come after me for this because look boom my phone fits 
in this bag. My phone fits in this bag. Isn't that crazy? The one in France, I'm just not sure. I don't know why my phone did not fit into that bag. I cannot even begin to tell you. But I do know my essay explained to me that it could have been the fact that it was an ostrich leather. And because of that factor, it changes everything when it comes to the bag. I was not aware of that. So I'm happy that I've experienced it and I know now for future reference when I am offered bags of that nature. I was shook. I was completely shook when we were in the store. I immediately was like, I don't know, I don't know. And Hubs, of course, was like, you should try. Just try it out. And when my phone slid in there, I was shook. I just was like, I can't believe this. I cannot believe this. This was meant to happen the way it happened. And I am so happy. I did not just accept the Constance in an ostrich leather just because a FOMO, fear of missing out. I don't know, just because. I'm happy I didn't and I waited because this perfectly fits me. This is the perfect bag. It was on my wish list. It was on my wish list. And this is what I love about this bag. Hubs got me a wish list bag. Hubs got me a wish list bag. Do you hear me? Oh my goodness. Okay, I need to take this film off of this bag here too. Hold on, as I'm doing that. <laughs> I don't want to forget, you know your best sojourner is a special, I live in my own world, I've told you this already, I'm special, I will leave things where they should not be accidentally, so let's just clear these things off now, because I will be carrying this bag, <laughs> I will, this is why these unboxings are so important, I do not even unbox or touch the item until I share them with you, so I was waiting to carry this. Let me get back to this bag, I'm so excited. I am happy I did not say no immediately and that Hubs encouraged me to at least just try it. The essay, when she presented it to me, she left to give us time to determine and figure if it would fit and if I was comfortable with the bag. And I have to say, when, like I said, I was just so surprised that my phone fit in there. I was like, oh my goodness, the universe hears me when I say these things. And it was hilarious. Hubs just stood there. He was smiling ear to ear. He was so happy. And I'm just happy. I'm just so happy. As you can see, I'm very happy with this, this item. It was easy to just say no because of the fact that I had already experienced the mini constants in France. Yeah, it, it was just so easy for me. It was so easy for me to immediately just be like, no, and shut it down. But Hubs was like, try it, try it and see. And so I did. <laughs> Thank you, Hubs. Thank you very much. After doing some research, I did find a comparison as far as sizes, and I'm going to share them with you. I learned that the micro constants is a size, and this is in centimeters, 14 in length, 11 centimeters in height, and three centimeters in width. That's the micro. The mini constants is in 18 centimeters in length, 15 centimeters in height, and four centimeters in width, okay? So that was the mini. And the Constance 24, which is what I have, is 24 centimeters in length, 15 centimeters in height and five centimeters in width. So you can definitely see the difference in the Constance Mini and the 24. You can definitely see the difference, even in the height. See that? Let's see. It is it is so cute it is so small they're so cute. these are so, oh my goodness this was the year of the constants for me for real seriously i i i laugh about it but it is so true this was the year of the constants and i said that at the beginning of the year when i did my wish list and I said, this this is it. This is the year of the Constance. And it, it ha it's happened. It has happened. I am so excited and happy about this. 
Okay, let's get back to these details. Let's get back to this bag. Here is the thing. This bag is actually in Chev, so it's in goat leather. Look at that, just look at that. And the one thing that my essay pointed out to me is the glossiness of it. With goat leather, it is very soft and durable. It just is, it is beautiful. Just look at this, watch this. I'm gonna see if I can show you. Look at that. And it's so, so soft. Oh my goodness, it is so soft. It's not soft in the sense of, oh my goodness, it's easily puncturing or anything like that. It's just soft to the touch. It's both flexible and resilient, meaning it can adapt much easily when it comes to the contents and what you put in it. So I'm happy that I was offered the Chev or goat leather. It is so beautiful. And what I wanna show you is the difference in the leather but you see the glossiness of the black bag which is in goat so this bag is actually an epsom and this one is in goat for me the grain of the epsom is very similar to me as far as how it looks it is very similar to the goat. The biggest difference for me is the fact that, look at that, the fact that the goat has that shine is such a major difference to me. That shine is everything. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bags. I was offered five constances this year alone. Do you hear me? I was offered five constances this year, okay? That is amazing to me. That is amazing. I don't know, it just is. I am happy this truly has been the year of the constants, for real. I am amazed by this. If you follow me, as I stated before, I was offered two constances before I left for France. While I was in France, I was offered two and I accepted one and then I was offered this one when I got back. So that's just, this is just an amazing, amazing year. It has been an amazing year. And that's not even including my Kelly and Cellier. And I will show you the difference in that as well, as far as the leather. Do you see the grain of the goat? And my Kelly Cellier is in box leather, but look at that shine. You see how lovely it is? It's like this bag it reminds me of my Constance 24 and my Kelly Cellier in box had this bag. <laughs> That's what it feels like to me. It's like, it has the shine of the box, but it has the grain of the Epsom. Even though it's goat, it is such a beautiful bag. This is just a lovely, lovely bag. I know I keep saying it, just look at that. Look how beautiful it is. Oh, it's just a beautiful, beautiful bag. I'm trying to make sure that I did not forget anything that I wanted to share. I was able to compare all the bags that I have that I feel is kind of similar as far as this bag is concerned. So I'm happy I was able to do that. So let's talk about how this happened. Hubs was not willing to tell me everything that happened, but I will say this is hashtag Hubs fault because it was a gift and if my phone didn't fit, I would have felt some kind of way accepting a gift or having to reject it because of that. Hashtag Hubs fault. That's what I'm gonna call this video. If my phone didn't fit, I would have felt some kind of way. <laughs> so this was the second Constance 18 or Constance Mini, which is the 18, in black leather and palladium hardware that was offered this year. The other being the one in ostrich. Then that's really the biggest difference was the fact that that one was an ostrich and this one was not. I just have the feeling that that one was smaller and I don't know if that's really true. It could really have been just the fact that it was ostrich that my phone just did not fit into it. 
I really do feel that it this was just meant to happen. Because how often are you offered two similar bags in the same, it's not even the same, it's the same year, but it was like within a couple months. I feel that, you know, this was just meant to happen. So you, I'm just gonna say it, I'm just, I'm just gonna put it that way. This was meant to happen. So I was not gonna, decline this bag after the first one was offered i mean it just it, to me that feels kind of foolish <laughs> but it worked out because my phone fits so i can't be mad about it i'm just not mad about that so accepting this bag also was nice to cross off my list because it was definitely on my wish list so now i can cross it off knowing knowing that my phone fits and everything else that I need on a regular basis fits as well. Because this was a surprise, I was compelled to ask Hubs a billion questions. I wanted to know everything, how this happened, how he and my essay collaborated. Like I wanted to know all the detail. <laughs> he did not divulge seeing it was a surprise. So I had to accept whatever he was willing to share with me. And I did, I did. And this led to my next question, just how did it happen? He did share that when my essay reached out to him, he was immediately on board because she said, this sounds like it would be a great birthday present, a good surprise. And he was immediately on board, but he wanted to pick it up four weeks out? Like, I don't know. I don't know what that was about. <laughs> All I could think is, bless his heart. But I don't know. I don't know what that was about or why it was four weeks out, but that was what he asked of our essay. And I did think that was interesting. It was kind of stressful just hearing him say it. I was like, what? But I tried to stay calm and listen to how this all unfolded. So this led to my next question, which was how in the world did our essay respond to that? And interesting enough, she did not. <laughs> she didn't respond to it. So in my mind, I was thinking, of course not. You know, there's a list of her own clients, but then other essays in the boutique's clients as well. And it's like, okay, if one person is non-responsive, then you move on to the next. I don't know. I don't truly know how these things work, but what I do know is she was non-responsive. So I kind of like chuckled when I heard that and I, it, I was just cringing. I was cringing the entire time. Like, oh my God, I can't believe this. Cause if it were me, I would be on the road the next day or even that day heading down there to get it. But she did not reach out to me. It was a surprise. So let me tell you the rest of the story. Thinking back on it, I have to say he was acting kind of strange, especially because it was like the sudden trip. We do trips but usually there are long discussions that go along with the trips. So I have a good idea of what's happening and how it's happening. And this was very sudden out of nowhere. And I just was like, okay, well maybe he has an emergency that he has to tend to, maybe it's work related. So I just was like, all right, let's just, let's go. I do not know why he asked for four weeks. I just don't. I don't even want to know. It just makes me kind of cringe, like I said. I just was like, oh my goodness, opportunity would have passed us by. But he is one of those say la vie type of people. He's very relaxed, you know, he's fringe, and he's very calm about these things, whereas I'm just an action-oriented person. I'm just like, okay, let's just get this done. Let's handle it. Luckily for hubs, <laughs> Luckily, luckily for Hubs, our essay did end up reaching out, not the following day, but the day after that. She was very apologetic that she was unable to respond to his message as soon as he had sent it. So he was very relieved to receive that message. <laughs> she was very relieved and I can only imagine like it, uh, yeah, I can only imagine. I can only imagine. He planned everything and the next day we were on the road heading to Hermes. This is information to have. While we were there, I was actually able to get a, another hole put into my Hermes watch strap for my Apple Watch. Remember, I picked this up in Monte Carlo. So it was nice because of the fact that it was it was loose on my wrist, but now with the extra hole, it fits 
perfectly. So I was able to go ahead and get that done while we were there visiting. The other thing that I inquired about, just out of curiosity, seeing in Monte Carlo, going to Lower Piana and having the items delivered to the hotel instead of lugging the bags around, I actually asked if they did the same thing at my boutique here in the US, if they also delivered to the hotels that she was yeah it was a no it was a no it was just no we don't we don't do that and i understand but it was worth asking and it goes to show that each designer handled things differently while we're in monte carlo laura piana had everything delivered to us hermes in monte carlo did not the hermes here in the u.s that i go to and frequent does not and i just thought it was a good thing to ask because walking around with boxes and bags even if it's in the white sack which we did request still can be questionable it can be very it, it's just a safety precaution and having it delivered is just so easy and at the same time for for the customer for us but at the same time, it's so relieving not having to carry the items around with us everywhere we go if we decided to go somewhere else. I have in the past, of course, requested that the items just stay at the boutique until we return. But that can also be an inconvenience for us, but then also the boutique. And I know delivery as well, right? There are risks. And I guess it also depends on who you are. Maybe they do deliver for other people. I don't know. But I figure I'd ask and share that information with you. You know, I had a whole conversation with the staff about the up and coming events. And one of the things that I kind of raised my eyebrow at, but kind of chuckled at. It was the fact that they shared that when there are different events and different openings, like if they have to relocate and so on and so forth, there are a lot of looky-loos. And I was, I was tickled by it because I was just like looky-loos, but at the same time, I understood. There are individuals who come in just to look. And I feel that, why not? That's honestly kind of sort of how I started. I would show up to a boutique. I remember visiting one in, I think it was California, but I was a looky loo at that point. And just going in and looking, I knew I wanted to shop at the Hermes Boutique. I just knew it. And that's definitely what ended up happening in the end. So looky loos can be a positive thing right not just a negative thing so we chatted about that and the potential of course i understand what they're speaking of and that is people coming in who actually want to shop and are willing to shop in comparison to those who are just there just to be there and i don't know it, it was a weird kind of conversation only for me in my mind because i just was like you never know where that will lead but I understand completely, especially if it's a smaller boutique and they have so many clients. I completely get it and understand. So let me know what you think about that, the looky-loos. Are you a looky-loo? I started out as a looky-loo, but look now, like, I don't know. It's definitely something for us to chat about. Let's talk about it in the comments. As I mentioned before, this is only the first of the unboxings that I have. The others are being delivered. And that is because a number of the items that I was interested in was not actually in the boutique, but was ordered for me. And they will be delivered here to my home. And I'm excited and I cannot wait to share it with you. And I will tell you one of those are a bag as well. So you don't want to miss that. In the meantime, I am going to take this bag out and enjoy it. I am so excited about this bag. I cannot even explain express it enough to you how excited I am about this bag and just holding these two oh my goodness it is different look at this look at this these are the little things that I noticed look at the difference in a 24 in the mini which is the 18 can you see that how this one has like a double pocket and the back look at the back 
the 24 has this pocket in the back, whereas the 18 does not, the mini does not have the pocket in the back. Who knew this would be a comparison video? I did not expect that. <laughs> I did not plan for this. But because I have both of them here, I am going to look at both of these and share it with you. And in the front, it has two slits here. Can't, you can't really see it because it's black. There it goes. You have a slit here and you have a slit here. And the two compartments, as I stated, and then there's a slit here as well. Here's the mirror. So we have the mirror, three slits and a, two compartments. That's what we have with this one, which is the 18 or the Constance Mini. Now, let's look at the 24. I told you it already has the, the slit in the back, which the Mini does not have. And on the inside, it has the two slits in the front, so that's the same. And it has the zip in the back. You see that? The Mini Constance does not have a zip. And of course, it has the mirror. They both have the mirror. They both have the front slots, but this one has a back slot with the zip. And the Mini Constance has a back slot without a zip. Also the back, as I stated already, the 24 has a slit in the back, whereas the mini Constance has nothing in the back. So those are small differences that I'm noticing just by sharing them with you, even comparing the outside. I mean, look at that. So very, very interesting. As I said before, now, my phone does not fit in the main compartment. It will not fit, I'm not gonna force it, but it comfortably fits in that front compartment. Look at that. So that is that is comfortable. Now, if the phone gets bigger, I would not put it in here, but this works, this works. And that's with the case on. If it did not have a case, it will probably fit even better. Thank you so, so very much for joining me. Remember, there will be another unboxing coming out in the near future. So be on the lookout for that. And until next time, thank you for joining me.